That was a partial crash. We're back. Um, three programs became completely unresponsive. Um, and I, I wasn't able to change anything. It was stuck. OB I couldn't alter anything on OBS and it had multiple aspects of it that were locking up. And so I apologize for the technical issues, guys. Um, we're, we're probably not going to be running the full four hours today. Um, I am going to try to to keep going just for a little bit to show what I was just trying to show before I start to dismantle everything and uh, make sure it's at least all connected properly, um, which is the first step. Uh, for those that are still here, I greatly appreciate your patience. Thank you very much for sticking it out. Um, what I was about to do was show you what an unmodified NES looks like. So as I am getting the things necessary for the RGB modded um, NES to show, I wanted to show you guys this. This is an unmodded uh, NES signal, right? This is just not over RF. This is over um, composite, right? I wanted to make sure I said the right word. It's composite and component. My mouth wants to fuck those two up. So uh, this is just regular old composite from an unmodded system. Now, what we're going to do, so take that mental picture, get it locked into your head, right? Get it locked into your head. And uh, I'm going to show now what it looks like through an, uh, a modded system, an RGB modded system. Just need to take off of there. Uh. Like this. So I'm going to kill the power here. You guys got that mental picture? What's up, Jer Bear? All kinds of technical issues today. It's it's par for the course. I apologize, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I hope that I'm able to get these issues resolved quickly. Because <clears throat> this puts a damper on things. So make sure you got that mental picture. Unmodified NES signal over... Um, Composite. Now we're going to switch over to a modified uh, NES over S video. So it's only one step up as far as the signal quality. But look at the difference. This is where the modification comes in, right? So here we go. We're going to we're going to lose signal. Hope you got that mental picture. Oh, it helps if I plug it in. All right, why isn't it on? I'm using the power supply in another NES, dipstick. Now. There we go. So, let's switch to... This one. Oh, not this one. Little bit of a difference. Little bit of a difference. Both are authentic, real, original hardware. But what a difference a mod and a cable make. And even then, this is just over S video. So, like, the RGB, like, if I were to have, um, the uh the scart setup then i could i could probably use different rgb cables than the component cables the component cables i've seen with the any uh the nes mod tend to have a little bit of signal noise and a slight blur to them i'm not sure what the deal is it doesn't happen with the snes signal um it only happens really with the nes so and it doesn't happen with the n64 either which is also RGB modded. Um, and I mean, check this out. We can go back. Look at this. This is... Now, this is with less signal noise because it's coming from the TV and not a, a noisy, unmodified system. And the funny thing is, check this out. The, on the, the modified system, this one here,
Doesn't have any RF shielding on the inside. It's all open. I didn't put any of the RF shielding back because I didn't want it severing any wires or causing any issues, um, you know, shorting something. So we just didn't put it back. But what a huge difference. What a huge difference. And, I mean, the good thing is, is what we'll do now is uh, we'll switch to here. So, and then I go like this. Front. So let's take this out and let's go back to this. Okay, and it worked first try. So check that out. Do you see that difference? Isn't that amazing? The amount of signal noise. I mean, it's 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 not uh, an inexpensive mod to do, but the results are absolutely amazing. I mean, I can see the difference on a CRT. And when you can see the difference on a CRT, you, you, you know, for a fact, you're going to be able to see the difference on, uh, you know, a digitized, um, line doubled signal. Absolutely. So we got that up and running. Um, this NES has been repaired. I think there's another one that I, I kind of want to replace the, uh, 72 pin connector, or at least clean it really well. But this one, let's see. Okay, if we remove and put back, does it work? Yes. And let's do that again. I like to do this multiple times because if it's going to work just by throwing in a cart like this, then it, I'm, I'm comfortable with returning it to the, the store owner and being like, okay, this one's good to sell. Yeah, three for three. We do five for five. Uh, it's just putting all the screws back in. Oh, we got a black screen there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do the full reassembly. Now, these systems that I repair, I do put the RF shielding back in. What's up, Anime Portal? How are you doing today? We started off with some Chrono Trigger, but got so severely trolled by the system that uh, we're taking a break from it. We are taking a break. Oh, here we go. How are you doing today? Uh, we got a bag of screws. Incoming follow. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciated. So that you know, we're doing a giveaway. I'm sure you could tell by the uh, stream title that uh, we're doing a giveaway. Once we hit 500 followers, I will be opening up a channel in my Discord. And we don't want to use that screw. That screw is... We don't want to throw the screw in the NES. There we go. Once we hit 500 followers, I will open up a channel in my Discord, which is linked below. And uh, all you got to do is say that you're interested and be a follower of the Twitch channel. And one will be chosen at random because not all that follow may be interested in getting an N64. That looks like one of the longer screws. But we are... One of the things that I do is I only play on original hardware, right? Back in the house? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, pfft. Leon, I've got work to do. Let's just say I've got work to do on my computer to figure out what the issue is. 
But I did replace uh, the 72 pin connector in this one with an original 72 pin connector that has a lot more tension on the pins. So it is working and working well, if I do say so myself. And I do, I do say so. Why don't, are you too good for your home? I don't really have it lined up. Uh, well, there we go. Be a little better. But yeah, hopefully we get uh, that issue worked out. I'm hoping that there, it's just something where I need to reseat the uh, my NVMe drive because that seems to be the uh, the source, the common source of the issue. Okay, what is your major malfunction? Let's loosen these up. I was really hoping that it wasn't something hardware related because hardware is not cheap, nor is it easy to replace. You know, and if it's something like uh, an issue with my motherboard um, then it's something that's even worse because that's an expensive I mean fuck my motherboard was an X470 chipset Crosshair 7 Hero Wi-Fi and those are going for a premium nowadays. Really good overclocking uh, motherboards, but might be having other issues with it. No, I did not replace the motherboard. It's the one that I was using with my 2700X. And I had zero issues with it, so. But you never know. I mean, there could be something that's just been jostled around a little bit. So after uh, the stream today, I'm I'm going to be dismantling and trying to repair my PC. So we're going from working on old consoles to working on a modern computer and I'd, I'd stream it but unfortunately I do a one stream or one PC stream so I can't really I don't have a way of recording it shorting the board well hopefully it's not you know anything that's too detrimental And we're able to fix the issue, but random programming programs becoming unresponsive midstream is 100% not acceptable. Look at this RF shield. We're putting this rusty ass RF shield back in there. There we go. And to test it once it's fully assembled, we'll do another signal demonstration. Did you catch the last one? I will sort it for sure. I may figure out what the issue is, but as to whether or not I'm going to be able to fix it, I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. Some of these screws are pretty corroded. Because they've been pulled out of really messed up NESs. There's an N64 screw in here. I 
I appreciate your uh, your vote of confidence, though. Hopefully it goes better than the Chrono Trigger freaking BS. I really can't believe that. And it, but it looks like we got uh, four working NESs out of all of the parts that I uh, brought home. And I mean, some of these consoles, like these have been assembled from, I'll take this bottom and this power and reset button assembly and this controller port and that controller port and put them in that chosen bottom and grab this random top and then we'll grab this other motherboard and I mean just completely like Frankenstein these things together that's that's the best way I can think of putting it I wasn't even eaten alive It's like I was vaporized. It's literally like I was vaporized. It was bad. It was bad. You know, and the thing is, it's been a lot of, um, some of it, it's, it's like you really just need to fully disassemble these things and, uh, like do a really thorough deep cleaning I got just a couple of screws left in this one and then before we put the well now nah, we'll go ahead and test it after we put the outer shell on. Not what I wanted to do today, guys. What I wanted to do was beat Chrono Trigger because I thought we were just literally minutes away from getting it done. Um, and I was like, okay, we o we've only got like two phases left and then... Nope. Nope, we've got freaking... What? seven or eight optional optional quests let's just call them quests like okay once you get to a certain point you need to do this in the game all right ew ew we got nastiness in here well i hope everybody's day is going a little bit better than mine Yes. No. Yes. Yes. This is the same one where um, I uh, ha wanted to replace the 72 pin connector. I got the motherboard working, but I didn't like how loose the uh, the 72 pin connector felt. Like it would just be problematic. Somebody would have to end up going in and uh, being, you know, like re replacing. Um, the connector itself or like trying to retension it and i i want these systems to be up and running basically just make sure you're using a clean game i like the tech stuff too and some of my favorite you know stuff to do it's just it's not real popular with the viewers most people would rather watch the uh, um, the gameplay. Editing a golf video. Fun. I couldn't watch golf. Could not do it. Play golf is a different story. People come for the gameplay. They can. 
I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. And I'll illustrate why. There are channels, some of which you frequent, that are struggling. And I mean, I'm struggling, but that's because I'm an idiot. But there are channels that you frequent that are struggling that focus on gameplay. Primarily the gameplay. Those channels will continue to struggle because that's all they do. You can hear them talk. Don't do this, Leon. Here's, here's a free tip, right? You can narrate what you're doing in the game. But don't let that be the primary thing you do when you're talking on your stream. If all you do is describe what you're doing in the game, it's not really interaction for people, right? You need to try to hold a conversation about something you're passionate about, about anything like that. Not a full nother BSOD. What happened, Mr. Manchong, um, is that a couple of my programs became completely unresponsive and I wasn't able to update or change anything. And then um, I had to restart the stream. I just uh, I had to restart the whole computer. I just said, fuck it, we're restarting. Hang in guys, I'll be right back. You know, everything is gonna go down. Um, and so that's what I did, is restart everything. Hopefully it goes long enough. After the stream today, um, I'm, I'm gonna be disassembling my PC. It's a real pain in the ass because the NHD 15, and I can actually show you here in a second. Okay. So before I do the signal demonstration, here's here's the reassembled unit. Look how, look at the fucking color of this thing, guys. <laughs> Super yellow. Right? Okay. So I can show you. All right, so one of the issues that we have, and we'll just set this here. You see the graphics card here and that big beefy NHD 15 cooler. In order for me to release the graphics card, I've got to either take off the cooler or use a special tool to pop the release on uh, that graphics card because my M.2 drive is behind it. So, uh, yeah. I can do it. It's doable. I've done it before. R9 290. Yeah, the bigger cards can be a bit of an issue, especially when you have uh, larger coolers. Well, I do for repasting. I do have the Noctua NA uh, N1H2 paste. They're upgraded, not just the N1H1 paste. All right, so let's switch over to USB capture. All right, here we go. Let's make sure that this NES is working before I label it as working. Helps if I uh, plug it in, doesn't it? Like just fucking didn't even have the power plugged in. No AV cables. I just hit the power button like work, son of a bitch. Boom. Yeah, it is. It's still a pain in the ass. Okay, we got a uh, audio is only going to be coming out of one. Um, because it's unmodded. So you guys should only be hearing that in the right side. Right, so, attempt one. Ooh, that's a that's a tight that's a tight grip on that. Attempt two. Attempt three. All right, so we are three for three, which means I don't have to. And each one of these, it's like I just push the card in all the way. I don't have to do any funny finagling. 
no pushing the card in and like sliding it over. Um, it's working just from putting it in and slapping it down. Every time. Been a long week, been a long month indeed. I feel you. All right, guys. So before we're, we're going to do another signal demonstration, we got more people back in. Um, this is what I was about to do before I had to shut down and restart again. It is. There is a lot of noise. Uh, this could probably use the power filter caps replaced, but for the what I am being paid and store credit to do for these systems, it's not really worth it for me to spend the money on the replacement filters or the, the replacement capacitors and then like the amount of time to desolder, remove the old ones, put new ones in. The guy's not willing. I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure he's not willing to pay for that. I'll talk to him about it when I return these. Um, no, I can probably show you a little bit um, cleaner of a signal out of one of the other NESs back here. This one's a little noisier, right? So, but look, here we go, right? This is, um, is this the right one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is straight off of, uh, the NES basically super noisy. Now, you got that mental picture of what this looks like? Are you ready to have your mind blown? All right. So this will be a little louder and that it's picking up the off of the TV, right? Here you go. Ready? This is this is all hardware. This is real hardware. This is an RGB modded um, NES over S video. Not even, not even component. This is S video. This is just S video. Big difference. And honestly, there's no RF shielding inside of the modded console. Uh, it's all been removed. What's up, Neil? Nope, it's not an emulator. It is. Let me turn off the side light here. Incoming bits detected. Thank you for your support. Thank you indeed, Mr. Leon. Greatly appreciated. It's this console right here, which has a NES dust cover on it, but it is an actual biddies for my titties. Uh, I jiggled my, I jiggled my boobs. Jiggle my titty boobs. Incoming bits detected. 69. Thank you for your support. 69. Thank you very much for those 69 bits, Mr. Manchong. Greatly appreciated, guys. So, yeah, this is a modded, what an, a modded NES looks like. Um, and after seeing the difference, it's like, you know, I can't continue to play the other way and expect people to want to even watch this. Um, so, again, we can switch back. Now, this is picking up composite off of... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, this has been... Let's go ahead and undo this. Uh, I'm going to label this console as working. And I'm going to grab another one and show you a little bit more of a direct capture. Nah, you, it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not going to be like the first one. It, it should be better unless you have another issue. Like I said, the this one here 
the console's working, but the dude's probably not going to be real interested in paying what it takes to actually get it, you know, uh, the capacitors replaced and stuff like that, because each kit is five bucks plus shipping. And then uh, it takes me like about an hour to do total, maybe two hours. It depends on how bad it is. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just labeling this one so I know it's up. So let's, I think this one has a cleaner signal. Go back here. All right. So, um, switch there. What's up, Toddy? All right, we're getting power. Good. Um, why are you on AV1? Go back to front. Yeah, this one's cleaner. So you'll still see some noise. But it's not as noisy as the other one. Oh, Toddy, Toddy Lottie, wanted to let you know in case you've missed it. It's I know it's been a while since you've been here. Busy, busy man, right? Um, we're doing an N64 giveaway. We are doing an N64 giveaway. Once we hit 500 followers, I will be giving away an N64 um, to a lucky follower. Uh, once we hit that 500 follower mark, uh, I'll open up a channel in my discord, a follower from Twitch that is interested. All you have to do is just let me know your Twitch name and, uh, I'll choose one at random from that point, uh, live on stream and we'll be paying for shipping. What's up, Sindel? Welcome in. The colors look washed. Yeah. It's also because it's not modded now. What I can do to get an even true, because this, again, this is coming out of the TV. So I can do this. I can, I can show you my boobies. All right, hold on. What I'm going to do, instead of pulling it from the TV, I'm going to go straight into, we're going to lose signal here just for a second. I can go straight into, and if you're make me unplug all the way, into the capture. This might eliminate a little bit of noise and make the colors a little less washed out. Thank you very much for that, Neil. Yeah, this is not the modded one. So this is this is bypassing the TV input. I actually don't have a, a signal on uh, the CRT currently. The colors are better. It's because it's not being processed by the TV. But look at the amount of signal noise. Right? So the colors are a little better. Now, this is going to be a straight comparison between modded and unmodded. Get We'll let it loop one more time. And actually, this isn't even this isn't even going to the retro tink. OK, this is going to a USB capture. So. Keep that in mind, what we're going to do now. Is. Go into let me put this back in here. Now we're going to go into the uh, the tink itself. Here. 
here and here. And we switch to here. So this is, if you are going from an NES unmodded to the Tink, this is what it'll look like. If your NES doesn't really have an issue. So this looks even better because it's not USB cap. It looks okay. So if you have a Tink with uh, an NES that doesn't have an excessive amount of signal noise due to capacitors kind of being maybe an issue. You finally got your Tink. That is awesome. This is what you can expect. This is what you can expect. This is an unmodded system over composite. So this works. And we're talking about the Tink 2X. You're, you got the 2XM, the multi-format. I have the one that came out before it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Right? It's not that bad. For now. All right. You got this picture in your mind? Now we're going to switch back to the modded system. Right? So here we need it. We're going to lose color. We go to S video just because of how the signal's handled. And then here. Again. And this is a modded system. The NES is amazing. This is a modded system. Colors are better. You have, I actually have a, a palette selector switch um, that allows me to kind of fine tune the colors a little bit. A lot of RGB modded NESs will do that. It really is night and day. And so that's kind of like the level that we're talking about. You know, that first image that you're seeing processed by the TV, the, the first one that I was showing, is comparable to what you would get over RF. Right. And then we stepped it up. Okay, let's do a direct cap over uh, like USB capture. And then we'll do direct uh, to the Tink over HDMI being line doubled. And then RGB modded. Drive safe, Leon. Please drive safe. Thank you for hanging out. Greatly appreciated. You are very welcome. It's it's people come here to figure out they need to spend money on their retro setups. <laughs> That's what happens. I get that all the time. Plunger, past the plunger, uh, accuses me of like making him spend money. <laughs> Every time he shows up, he's like, God damn it. I got to spend more money. Every time I show up in your stream, I'm, I got to get this game. I got to get that game. Like He's gotten a, quite a few games recently because uh i've played him talked about him showed him so yeah that's that is the difference got to spend money to make money that is the truth that is absolutely the truth yeah you leon it's not just plunger it is it is you you've you've made a similar content or a comment so you can have a room to display all your stuff this is my house. This is what I like to hang out and what I like to do. Other than apparently have computer issues. Which seems to be a thing. So, uh, I think this one was pretty tight. I want to, I want to test the signal or the, the house. Like if this 72 pin is, that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. Is there an NES game that you guys would like 
to see. Today's a good day to request an NES game. You need a man cave game room. Why not convert this? Okay, look, think about it this way. This is my office. You guys are looking at my office. Convert your office to your game room in man cave. If you can, that's what I did. But granted, my office is kind of like a studio, so it, it, it also works. Makes you hate the room. It's because, look, what I'm doing right now is work. Granted, granted, my work is different than your work. So there, there, it, it's it's not an apples to apples comparison. Um, but anytime you do something that you love for work, you can it can lose some of its fandom. So it's it's about making the environment as enjoyable as possible. Speaking of mother-in-laws visiting, yeah, Neil, we actually have in-laws inbound. They're going to be here this coming Tuesday. So let's, it'll be interesting to see if and or when that uh, affects the stream. We'll call it something different. Maybe, maybe you won't hate the room as much if you call it something different from the get-go. Big brain, big brain strats. Let's let's do a contra playthrough. Since nobody's requesting a game. Uh, actually. But I I spend a lot of time in here. You request contra? That works. Time to burn it all down and start over. Shit! Do I have to burn all this? I hope not. That might upset some people, including myself. Just saying. Oh, wait a second. We need to... Come back just a little bit. About there. Yeah, that's better. Try the Konami code? Yeah, I can do the Konami code. I'm not going to use it to beat the game, though. You only have 360 games? We missed it. I might be hitting it too fast. If you do it too fast, you can actually, like, not do it. I think that got it. No? You can get, you can't get it first try ever. I can. There we go. Got it. 30 lives. You brought your DMG and Game Boy games home. Yeah, that one too. Nice. There we go. That's the Konami code, but we're not using no Konami code here. No, sir. No, sir. If you were just testing to see if I could pull it off, test passed. But I'll do you one better. I will beat the game. One CC. We're going to go for deathless. We always go for deathless. Don't trust that guy. I gotta, I gotta shoot him. Oh, that wasn't close.
We do it the right way. The, it's it's actually not doesn't make the game any more difficult. I mean, to be honest. Like this is probably the easiest boss fight in the whole game. Shoot the guy up top, then stand there, and then die. Take that extra man. Not like we're gonna need it. It's like this was the very first NES game that I ever beat. And so it's like, not only do I have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I have a, a pretty good understanding of the mechanics as well as um, I have for the most part uh, memorized the majority of the enemy patterns, what's gonna be coming. So that gives me a little bit of an advantage as far as uh, like having, like some people really struggle with the game. All right, we got a good rhythm. This was the first game you ever rage quit? That's unfortunate. Boss time! Actually, games are just to have some, just to have fun. So play any difficulty you like. Now, once you master the game, you start, there you go. Start putting some challenge to yourself. And then some of the games like this doesn't have a difficulty setting. It's just what is, is. The, uh, the game gets difficulty when you start to loop it. Wow, this guy's shooting fast. Um, as you loop it, the projectiles mean, um, mean move faster. Another three. And if you didn't know, the uh, the spread is by far and away the most powerful weapon in this game. Uh, I guess we missed that. Take him out because he can present problems. We can't make that jump. Damn it. The good thing is, I can't believe we died here. What a horrible place to die. What a horrible night for a curse. boss time this is you know the one of the things that i like about this game is it's very approachable you don't have like hours of gameplay or level you know 30 different levels that you need to memorize Now we're lined up. Oh. There we go. A Binding of a Isaac reference? Um, I have Binding of Isaac. Isaac? A Isaac. <laughs> that too. But I haven't played enough of it. No, it's not. I want to know why all these guys blow up, though. Fuck me! Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I'm not going to take that death. We're... no. 
We're gonna see if we can do it deathless. We'll see how far we can get without a death. I'm not satisfied with level three being our first death. I'm convinced that we can do better. Ha! Ah! Joke's on you, there's another spread that I can get. Though part of me, like, totally wants to freaking... Like, you missed the first spread? No. There we go. Ah, we missed the rapid bullet. So yeah, these, the bullets that the computer shoots will never hit you on the back of that platform there. So that's like a very safe place to stand. And it also happens to be the exact same level as those guns. So, or the little shooter things. I can't, uh, though growing up, I can't tell you how many, oh, you know what? I want to get the first, here we go. Get that R. We want that rapid shot. There we go. See how much faster the bullets. I never knew growing up what the R um, stood for. I always thought it was like rifle. And I noticed that it never changed like the weapon. So it's not like an individual weapon. Like, you know, the machine gun or the spread or the F. Or the fail or the loser. The loser laser. Which are by far and away the absolute worst weapons in the game. But I think we all already know that. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Stage three. Let's stop doing stupid shit. SDSS. Stop doing stupid shit. Like this. We're just going to keep going. Going. And jump. We, and we finally learned what B stood for, in case you've missed it. B is for barrier. B is for barrier. Because I was like, how the fuck does B mean invincibility? Like, I am not the most gifted individual when it comes to... Uh, English, right? <laughs> it's my primary language. That doesn't mean I'm any good at it. And so I kept wondering, how does B mean invincibility? And then I forget who it was, but someone in chat was like, bio barrier. I was like, oh my God. B is for bear. Fuck! Ah, <laughs> uh, B is for barrier. Bio barrier. Oh, that makes sense.
Okay. Let's do this. Invincibility. Yeah, maybe you're right. So you really think it's a uh, an NVMe issue, Mr. Manchong? In your experience. And expertise. <laughs> Would reseeding that drive help? Like, have you seen that before? Okay. Well, have you seen? I, I, I mean, that's 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 my first course of action. Make sure everything that SATA uh, is connected properly to the drives and to the motherboard. Um. I want this one too. All the spread. But we don't want. But we don't want the bottom one. I wanted the top one, but okay. That doesn't really hamper us. I'm just, I'm really hoping it's not something that's a failure. Crystal, crystal disc. Okay. That will be my course of action. I appreciate the guidance. It is very, very, very welcome. Um, I am not an expert. I know more about the retro stuff than I do the modern stuff. As I stated, there's I know enough about the, the modern stuff to get in trouble. Right? But not enough to stay out of trouble when fucking with shit. It's gonna be a, a whack a mole. Well, it's probably better that I try to work on it, you know, today, because I don't. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Our next stream isn't until uh, this coming Tuesday. So hopefully, I can get it hashed out. Uh, before then because like you know I, I I really do try to put on a good show and there's a lot of prep work that kind of goes into a lot of this and to to be foiled by just straight up like technical issues is always a feel bad you know situation Incoming follow welcome to the channel nemesis welcome in creature you beat this for the first time the other day? Well, congratulations. This is one of my favorite NES games, and probably the out of all the NES games that I have, this is the one that I am uh, the most skilled with. I am almost to the point of uh, deathless runs in this. Almost. I do 1cc clears, which are pretty approachable. If, if I'm honest. Oh, we got that another extra life. Sweet! And we're not gonna... We're not gonna make that jump. Try to get a, a BSOD again. Yeah. The thing is, is, is one of the things that's really frustrating about it is that it hasn't been every time I do this, uh, I get a, a blue screen. It's been random. It's been different things. 
that's been partial things. It's been, you know, this becomes unresponsive. The program's still up and running, but now it's not working properly. And some stuff that's not even like, like the, the, the memory air that I got is a little frightening because if it's some sort of memory controller, that gets really scary. But, oh shit, that was a bad time to jump. We got lucky there. Um, the fact that it was like a memory issue also Mem test 86. God. I'd rather I'd rather troubleshoot um retro stuff. Just saying. I would much rather <laughs> troubleshoot retro stuff. And even then it's like if it's a chip. Oh, lovely. Well, I'm going to reseat drives um, and try a uh, crystal disk and see if that solves anything. And make sure everything's just reporting without errors. And if I don't get any errors, I'll assume that another R. Oh, yeah. I'll assume that it is uh, solved until we get it again. Oh, the next one. OK, I'll, I'll walk you through it, creature. I'll walk you through this one. It takes forever with 32 gigs. Yeah, I, I, the RAM that I'm using is the Corsair LPX RAM. And so it's, I mean, that's pretty decent RAM. It's not like I'm using some off brand, you know, that's been known to have issues. It's supported by the motherboard, no issues. And I'm not, I'm not doing any overclocking on it. Okay. So creature, what you want to do here is focus on the ads. Oh, pro fuck. Problem. Problem. Okay, well. Stage four death, whatever. You just get the four sensors, or the three sensors and the cannon. Now, with these guys, you can only hit them when they're together. Right? And you see how we got two that are starting to change color? You just jump and avoid the bubbles. That's all there is to this one. Eventually the bubbles go off screen. Oh, totally missed. Airball. There we go. A stick of crucial. Yeah, it happens and I've seen it happen in loads of uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that as well. So this isn't a deathless run, but uh, we are still definitely on a 1cc clear of this game. All right, you're the machine gun. Thank you. <laughs> Joker. OK, I disappeared. I disappeared. Did you guys see that? I went invisible. No, we're not. Yeah, it's when they're together. When they're together. Initially today, we were playing Chrono Trigger. We were at the last... Oh, that was close. The last fight. Thought we were going to be killing the boss. Thought there was going to be some cool stuff in store. Damn it. I hate taking the lower route. Here's how you get, you still get the spread 
Right there. Go ahead and pick up the fireball here. Wait for the course to be clear. The, 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 the. Like that. And then jump here. Boom. Got it. Got him. Oh. Like so. Not the smoothest start, if I'm honest. But we're not really speed running it, so it's really not that big of an issue. It's just a matter of execution. Well, speed runs are a matter of execution as well. Mm, fuck you, dude. Like, we got pushed into the bullet by the screen auto scrolling. That's 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 no good. That's no good. I am really not looking forward to tearing into my computer today. There's other stuff that <laughs> I need to do. But my OCD is not going to let me walk away from, you know. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try for deathless. If I die like early on. Jesus, if I die early on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset, but if I die on like stage five or later, we'll keep going. It's not your fault. I, I gotta work on my computer today. I mean, the problem is it's like if it was only were with Twitch, um, then I'd be like, okay, well, as long as we get to it before Tuesday, but I use my computer for a lot of stuff and it's not just streaming. So I need to I need to get this hammered out, figure out what it is and uh, what I need to do to fix it ASAP. Oh, we're just mowing through. We are a merchant of death. Oh my goodness. Yeah, absolutely. It's worse when it's like, okay, well, we just upgraded something. We're working fine for a little bit. And now it's like, nope. Yeah, we're trying to go for that uh, that deathless run. And just to remind those, we are doing an N64 giveaway. Once we hit 500 followers, um, we're really trying to hit that that goal. And uh, it's open to all followers that are interested. Not everybody that follows may want an N64. And uh, I'm not really interested in giving it to somebody uh, that doesn't want it. <laughs> So, spread the word, guys. Let people know. All you got to do is follow Gaining Ground. And once we hit that 500 follower mark, uh, instructions will be given to, uh, to let me know that you are interested in the giveaway. Oh, that was a that was a bad choice. We almost landed on a, a bullet. It's like the worst. You make the jump and the bullet is there where you're trying to land. And it's more, it's just, I don't like things <laughs> that don't work. You know what I mean? I've grown accustomed to having a computer. We were too poor growing up to have one. They were way too expensive back in the day. 
and the technology uh, was changing so fast, it's like, unless you were pretty well off, you know, you needed a new com it, well, even if you were pretty well off, you needed a new computer, like, every 18 months because of Moore's Law. Is it Moore's Law? I think it's Moore's Law. Uh, don't you love it when you accidentally press down and jump? go. Nice and easy peasy. So. <sighs> I'm just thinking about freaking. Ugh. I, and the worst part is, is like some of the issues that can arise when You've got so much shit plugged into various USB ports and they don't end up making it back into the same one. And then you start having bugs because of it. That's like the worst. So I always, I, <laughs> for what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to basically keep everything plugged in, uh, you know, unplugging power and stuff like that, obviously, but just turn the tower on its side and try to ad address things without having to unplug and replug in all of the USB. Why are we playing bad? This is not this is not what we do on this level. Take a photo. Big brain strats. I for the most part know where stuff goes. But like, part of me just dreads, because oftentimes you try to find an issue, and it leads to other issues, or it gets worse. And that's always, like, a horrible feeling. You never remember? Yeah. I, 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 I label everything. Oh yeah, we'll get that. Wave to the crowd. Almost to the boss. Last room. Here we go. All business. So, and something else to remember, creature, is uh, here. Um, the ads, the guys that come out from the sides, once the heads are up, they stop coming out. The, they only continue to come out when uh, the guns and sensors are still up. So the quicker you get those down, the less time that you have to spend dealing with the ads. Okay, stage five. We got six lives now. That was pretty close. Oh, he made that jump too. Haha. Uh -huh. It's all about that spread. That spread makes all the difference. What do we got here? This is. Oh, wrap it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Extra points.
Fuck the F. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Stage five. We'll just do instead of deathless, it'll be one CC clear. No code. Morning retro, what's up? More computer issues. You will be back to ask stupid questions. I will uh remind you that there are no stupid questions. Only stupid people. So, just remember. Oh. I, I love you, Woody. What'd you think of Pocky and Rocky? Let me know when you get back if you hear this. If you don't answer the question, then I'll know that you were gone when I asked it, and I will ask it again. Uh, what is this? Laser? Not nah, fuck you! Laser? Loser? Alright, boss time. Gonna make your girlfriend play it with you? It's worth it, dude. It's a really good game. I haven't played Pocky and Rocky 2, but I've beat the first one. And it's a challenge. Slit lip. Got the NES box with all instructions and stuff. Nice. You mean by, by like the packing materials too? Let's get the machine gun here. Whoa, he almost got us. Okay, skip that one. These guys don't even turn around. Get wrecked. With all the styrofoam. Nice. Sweet. That we're all nerds here. Slit, so so don't feel bad. Is this your first time here? Forgive me if, if it's not, and I, I'm just not remembering your name. Oh, that was close. I don't know, Mr. Manchong. Check out price charting. I don't have it complete and com uh, complete complete in box I've only got it loose but like the NES games it'd be cool to have like the manuals and stuff but uh, it's not full like, it's not really necessary cold winters cold lip yeah, no, I've had that too, where they get so chapped they just dry out and split. That sucks. Yeah, big jump. Yep, it's that three. When he throws three, it's it's really hard to... Well, we've died twice. 2K for unopened. I believe it. 
Where am I from? I am from the U.S. I'm assuming you, by host you mean moi. I am from the U.S. Where are you from? Oop. We jumped right into that. Son of beaches. Toronto, Canada. Well, welcome in from Toronto, Canada. We've actually got uh, quite a few members of the uh, Gaining Ground community here that are from the uh, great north of Canada. Canada. Yeah, Neon Leon OGs from Canada. Contras from Canada. Sweet. That is really tough to get. And these suck. These are the worst uh, little gripper things. Look, look, it goes ape shit. It's like, try now. What I would give for like a Mega Man slide. Oh, no worries, Slit. No worries. Um, I, uh, we get too many Russian hackers hopping in trying to, uh, um, make people famous. So I don't allow, uh, links in chat. If you, if you'd like to share something via link. Feel free to join the Discord. That's what uh, we've got it set up for. Got a pretty good uh, community there. That's also where we're going to be doing the N64 giveaway instructions. Once we hit 500 followers, we will be giving away an N64 power supply, AV cables, um, and uh, jumper pack included. Not the expansion pack, mind you, just the jumper pack. Expansion packs are getting pricey. And uh, I am just a poor, lonely streamer. Too old for Discord? <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, wait, we don't want that fall off. Sub boss. Nineteen eighty six, February twenty six, dating a forty year old Chinese lady. Well, I'm uh, almost a decade older than you. I'll be 43 this year. Hashtag don't tell anybody. Actually, I tell everybody, so it doesn't really matter. We don't want to give these things a chance to go fast. Because they get way harder to deal with when they're flying around all nimbly bimbly. Mistype. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, um, I'm a, I am. They call me dad for a reason, because I'm in some cases I am old enough to be their dad. <laughs> mm, this is bad. Fuck. That's OK. Three deaths, whatever.
Just watch the ones on top. Focus on the ones on bottom. Watch the ones on top. Now that you've got those down, mash on the heart. Mash, 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 mash. I <laughs> give out mom and dad ad advitis. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any kids either. Uh, my girlfriend and I have been together for 17 years. Uh, we don't have kids. We have fur babies instead. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's just... I don't know. It is what it is. 17 years, indeed. We've been together for a long time. Do you write down my stuff? Well, I'm glad I can, uh, uh, help in some way. Three years with, uh, and you're scared? Scared of what? You've been with someone for three, well, I don't know. It could be an abusive relationship. So, that's, uh, you don't want to speak too presumptively. So this, in case you didn't know, guys, this game actually loops. You don't, well, that could be a troll. That could be a troll. I, well, I try to give it, I honestly try to give it, like, you know, sincerely. She does hit you. Well, if, man, let me tell you, if you are on, if it's, if she hits you and you're fine with it, it's just kind of joking and stuff like that, then, then okay. If you're okay with it, then then it's fine. Um, this game loops, by the way, in case you didn't know. We're on the second loop now. We finished the first loop. <laughs> so you're saying that you provoke her and she responds violently is what I'm gathering. Am I, uh, am I accurate in that statement? How did he miss that? She's really provocable. What matters most is that you're happy. That, that seriously is what matters most. If you're happy, awesome. You do you, boo. The best that you can do. If you're not happy, then you may want to reevaluate. She's the only one that can answer if she's happy or not. And I mean, I'm not talking like, are you constantly ecstatic? Are you, I mean, because I'm, I, I suffer from pretty severe depression, um, and social anxiety and, um, am I generally a happy person? No, absolutely not. I struggle with my mental health at times pretty, pretty intensely. But I can kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm relatively happy. You know, it, it, the person that I'm with, I choose to be with. I choose to be with on a daily basis. She um, offers me more support than anyone else ever has in my life. Her family offers me more support than my blood family. In fact, that's not saying a whole lot though. My, my in-laws, I call them my in-laws. We're not married, but we, like I said, we've been together for 17 years. 
And because we've been together- Nine lives! We are just gaining them lives! Um, because we've been together for so long, she's- I, I basically consider her my in-laws. They consider me part of the family, um, and treat me as such. And they have offered more support, encouragement, and just... I mean, I, mean, I really don't know how else to put it than su support and encouragement than my own blood family has. And so is chat. So is so is the community that uh, I that 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 is going on here in, in Twitch. I mean, the support that I get from like Pac Man and Mr. Man Chong and stuff like that. Uh, Rob Rob, who hasn't been around a whole lot, he's been a busy busy man. Um, is more than I get from my own blood relatives. Uh, we're in California. It's not common law by now. She hit it because, like, were you playing it an excessive amount? I mean, I'm not looking for excuses for her treatment of you so much as I'm only trying to understand her point of view. Like, uh, situations can be very complicated between people because there are, are so many basically unknown variables, right? You know, at least from an whoa, outsider's standpoint. And I am an outsider. Stay gold, pony boy. Stay gold. Anybody else catch that reference? No, there is no common law in California. Well, Kitty, it's not only depression, it's the anxiety. My mom understands that um, I've been... Uh, suffering from depression my whole life. I'll tell you why here in a minute. Um, when I was, well, let me let me finish what I was, the first thought. Um, I mean, I've always struggled. She understands it. Uh, they also don't support. They they take issue with what I'm doing here. They don't like the fact that I'm streaming on Twitch. Do I like my mom over my dad? Um. No. Yes, actually, yes. I do like my mom over my dad. Reason being, um, my mom and my my father got divorced when, when I was three. And um, he signed away all rights to me so that he didn't have any financial obligation as far as child support. I didn't even see him again for like five years. Oh, it's okay. There's nothing to apologize for. It's, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, um, but it is what it is. I think in, in the long run, it's made me a stronger person. Um, I had to learn a lot of really hard lessons pretty early on in life. So, um, but I mean that that's kind of like the the first lesson you learn in life as a kid is that your dad doesn't want you can be a little tough right and You know after that uh, I had a younger brother uh, Who died of acute leukemia lymphoma when I was four and Death is a hard pill for a four-year-old to swallow uh, things were told to me by um, aunts and uh, other members of, like, my family and, and relatives and stuff. Uh, that made that situation a lot more traumatic than it had to be. So, uh, my first lesson, daddy doesn't love you. Daddy doesn't want you. My, my second lesson was everybody dies. And to, to be put in that position at like fours, I mean, life is what it is. Um, I mean, we're talking about stuff that happened like 40 years ago, right? Uh, back in the day, that was everybody's life. I knew that he was sick, Mr. Manchong. 
And honestly, uh, Neo, I, uh, I think that's one of the things that some people might find quote unquote appealing about me is, are these things. It's, you know, you just push through. What else are you going to do? Am I going to lay down? That's not really an option. All right. Last dude. And another life. Sweet. I don't get, whoa. I don't get sad thinking about it. I've I, like growing up in elementary school. I've actually talked to counselors most of the time. They just, you know, when I talk about it, it's like they don't have anything to say. They just listen. And I, I mean, for the most part, I'm, I've come to grips with it. But like there, there are things that lead to questioning self-worth and stuff like that. I, I, I love you guys, too. I really do. 11 lives. No code. And we're up to 11 lives. So it's just really, I mean, life is dealing with the hand that you're dealt. It really is. Sometimes it's easier to deal with. And what is easy for one person to deal with may not be easy for another person to deal with. You know, we're all individuals. What is good for the goose may not be good for the gander. I can't believe I just ran into that. This level's much harder without the spread. And it's like, five is my gut check, really. That's the... Damn it, we didn't get the spread. We got the spread, but we didn't get the spread, if you know what I mean. Okay, that, I guess that was my bad. I must have, uh... Uh, I must have let off it down too soon. Had to take care of some stuff. No worries. No worries. It's all good. Group hug indeed. I'm not very good at taking a compl uh, compliments and stuff. But it's when you get told negative stuff the majority of your life, when somebody says something positive, like basically you get told... You know, we'll say B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B by nine out of ten people, and then one person comes along and says A, you default to B. Slit left, what you doing? What you doing? Remember, uh links in Discord. If you're not into Discord, sorry, no links. Oh, <laughs> Boy, that was the wrong time to read chat. At least I didn't lose any power up. And it's the second loop. It's okay. It's all good. It's just to prevent the freaking Russian hacker spam. I'm not interested in buying subs or anything like that. But I, I like Muse and I. Uh, Muse is the the woman that I've been in uh, the relationship with for so long um have talked about this at length and she thinks that's one of my appeals to people is um i i wear everything on this on my sleeve there it's it's you know there are great streamers whom i'm a part of their community but have completely different approaches to things and keep a certain distance going out for pizza all right morning retro enjoy uh Enjoy that pizza. Shit. Ow. Why I do this? Can't take too long between those Texas cities. They're pretty spread out, aren't they? I've only been to Texas a couple times. Hi, bubbies. That was a bad time to reach out, too. Uh, we missed the jump. You still expect pizza. How else are you going to survive? 
How are you gonna survive without eating? Every 20 minutes, Woody. Can I thought you had like like a water burger IV drip thing that you carried around for those long arduous journeys. Texas pizza can be decent too. If you know where to look. Like Little Caesars in Costco. Like, oh, I thought I thought we messed up on that jump. Okay. We've got, uh, uh, is it the one spread here? Oh, that was close. That's a troll. You're a pizza snob? Part of your Jersey heritage? Bought a $17 pizza, buy one, get one free. So is that really $17 pizza or did you buy uh, two eight, uh, $8.50 pizzas? Did, when, if you buy one pizza, is it $8.50? What's up, Metallo Mirko? Welcome in. Taking a break from uh, beating Chrono Trigger. The game trolled me. So its mother and I are very disappointed. Now, is New Jersey pizza like a New York style pizza with a, a thin crust, big, wide, floppy uh, slices? Like a wizard sleeve. Oh, that came out wrong. No, that came out exactly as I was intending. I guess. Just not a very good mental picture. <laughs> Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's, well, he's pretty close. You're not that... Well, you're not that wrong. We're about to die. <laughs> but there's some variety in styles. Okay. Final Fantasy 7, Chrono Trigger, Bigsby, and James Madden. Final Fantasy 6. No pizza looks better than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza. I'll tell you what. Pizza looks better. The pizza that you get to eat. You don't get to eat the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza. And besides, who wants to have anchovies and ice cream on their pizza? Not I. Did you guys ever see the uh, Cinemassacre uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, pizza party where they try the different um, pizzas that the turtles make? Okay, we need the machine gun to get the spread which is coming here. No, come! We can make it. Yes, okay. Worth it! Okay, are you saying, oh, fuck, that Chicago stuff? Are you saying, oh, fuck that Chicago stuff? That's one of those words that it's like, the word dude can mean anything, depending on the context. And so, how do you mean your F-bomb? With anger. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I, you know, honestly, like a good deep dish every now and again. Okay, sure. Can 
Okay, let those things pass because we really don't want them. Whoa! It's a pot of pasta sauce on <laughs> pizza. If they put too much, but I mean, a lot of crust too. Lost my hair. Uh, when, are you asking when I lost my hair? I started going uh, bald pretty early. In fact, uh, like my, I had an uncle. I, I, I say had because he's dead. Um, we were only four years apart. So he was closer to like an older brother than like an uncle. And when I was growing up, you know, it, it was, I was afraid of going bald. I didn't want to go bald. And so, uh, come on, you bastards. Come on. All right, fuck these guys. We're just going to keep going on. We're going to keep on keeping on. But we will. No. No. Pretty early on though, um, mid twenties, I started uh, like kind of thinning, and then uh, I started shaving my head in my mid thirties, early to mid thirties. I, I just said, "Fuck it, we're gonna, we're going big, Kojak style." I wish I was. That's that's very kind of you to say. Um, I struggled a lot with the opposite sex in high school. Um, I did lose my virginity in high school and I, I had girlfriends and stuff, but they didn't come easy. Nice. Congratulations, Metallo Mirko. Yeah, I've got um, a lot of gray. In fact, here, let's switch to this camera. Check it out. I'll be 43 this year. So I think I'm doing all right for... I don't spend any time in the gym. This is just diet. It's what I eat. So I do the full strict carnivore thing i don't need any advice I, I don't need any uh <clears throat> bless me <laughs> i don't need any vegetables or fruits or anything like that um so like I, i'm a big proponent of the uh, strict carnivore diet we're gonna go ahead and call it there guys um we are at technically it's the four hour mark normally we end at 1 p.m my time and we are at 12 58 I need to be able to tear into this computer and figure out what is going on and see, hopefully, um, if I can solve the issue. Hopefully something just got jostled a little bit, needs to be reseated, and that'll be that. Um, again, thank you very much, Mr. Manchong, for all your assistance today, being there from the start. Um, some of it, some of it's unflavored. Like I like Perrier, Perrier's fine, but I mean, I, my favorite is probably the Crystal Geyser. Uh, you know, essenced water, or whatever. Drop a an M a mem dump if I can. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Who do we have live? Hopefully we don't get a big crash, which we probably will. Regardless of the technical difficulties. I appreciate it. It just sucks when I'm trying to get new people 
uh, for, you know, to come in and hang out and have a good time with us. And then all of a sudden we're having computer problems. You start to buy new PC components little by little. This was just one change, but I think um, it's uh, a different issue. Who do we have that's live? All right, we're going to do... Yeah, we're, we're going to do the great playback. Well, that's I don't want to look at it that way. I don't want to look at it that way. Like the more the 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 better. No, hopefully the fewer the better. Guys, we are 45 followers away from uh that 500 follower goal. All right. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. I appreciate all your patience and in, in, in trying to hang in there as we figure this stuff out. Um, we are live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Pacific Standard Time, 9 a.m. Uh, linked below. The schedule converts to your local time, so please feel free to take a look. Uh, remember that follower giveaway. We are still doing that. Thank you all so much for the support um, and the new followers. Welcome into the community, guys. Hopefully we get to see you in Discord. You still have long hair, no chest hair. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Guys, it's been great. I'm so sorry. Uh, hopefully we get this sorted out before this coming Tuesday's stream, which I am greatly looking forward to. Continuing that chrono trigger saga and getting that game beat remember keep your chins up your mental health is just as important as your physical health it's really had to hard to have one without the other so make sure you take care of both all right it's important it's very important stay safe be well and hopefully i will catch you guys in the next one